All right, guys, so welcome to episode two of Develop Awesome Skills. And uh, yesterday I showed you guys uh, the fruit trees that I bought. Now, um, what I was doing, because I didn't plant them the same day, because when I bought them, I actually had to install a whole watering system. But what I did was I actually put soil over top of the roots of the bare root trees because I wanted to make sure that it would stay moist on those roots because I don't want them to dry out. So I've done a lot on the watering system and I'll, I'll be showing you guys all that. Mike's out back right now digging some more holes for those fig trees that we're about to plant. So I got a comment from one of my friends, Andrew, yesterday about the video that I posted buying the fruit trees and he actually asked in the comments, how do you supercharge your fruit trees? How do you do it? How do you plant them? What do you have to buy? What do you have to do? And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, in fact, I just planted this mulberry here. Um, it's, it's supercharged, planted, so is this uh, almond. I'm gonna show you the specific process to supercharge your fruit trees in your garden. The proof is in the pudding. We're gonna see here after this year if these trees set and how well they do but we're giving them a lot of food and we're giving them all the proper things for them to grow abundantly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I just finished putting the sprinkler system in. I'm gonna use these uh, pool noodles to slice them and put them around my PVC pipe so when I'm digging, I may hit that before I smash my pipe. I wanna put this tree in line with the almond up there. There's a big long branch, root branch it's poking out so I had to dig a little bit more that way. I don't wanna compress that root too much but I want it to be able to fully uh, explore the ground now this right here you can see you can see that that's where the graft point is on the tree so you need to make sure that this is facing east and not west that's why that has to face that way because that's got to face east the west side is over here so it's gonna protect the graft from the Sun so I have to dig this hole a little deeper because I need the ground to come up right here. This needs to be the ground level. So I have to dig about eight inches deeper right now to plant this tree. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you the mixture that we're gonna use to supercharge this mulberry and make it extremely productive and very nutritious when I eat the fruit. All right, so these are the ingredients you're gonna need to supercharge your fruit trees. First, you need native soil. So we need 20% of that just to couple scoops to start. I'm gonna use a whole bag. Now this mixture, a whole bag of this is gonna use do two trees. So I'm gonna do one bag of this, five or so scoops of dirt, one bag of worm castings. This also has worm castings in it. So that's positive, I'm just adding more. Then we need some azomite. This is the A to Z of minerals and trace elements. You continually add it. And over year, over the years, the more you add, the more mineral rich your soil is. So it's really good for the trees. This right here is fungus, mycorrhiza. Now this is the internet of plants underground. This connects all of the roots to the fungus and the fungus spreads out under the ground and attaches to all, grabs all the nutrients from your neighbor's yard, under your neighbor's yards, under the streets, everywhere, and attaches it directly to the fruit tree roots, which is like a main line for nutrition. It's like getting a, uh, a vitamin IV, like all those athletes do. This is a vitamin IV for the plant roots. So this is a very, very crucial part, but you don't need much of it because it does grow. So once you water it, it activates it. So those are the ingredients. Azomite, fungus, worm castings, good potting soil. And we're gonna use a little bit of perlite just to give it a nice drainage in the soil right now too. So that's the supercharging fruit tree uh, recipe. And now I will finish planting this mulberry and I will mix this and show you guys exactly uh, how to mix it. All right, that looks right at the right level. So now we're gonna get to the mix. So I'll show you how to mix this. So first, we're gonna put the potting soil in. And 
Then we're gonna throw the worm castings in. Whole bag is gonna do two trees. This is gonna be for two trees here. Start mixing it a little as I go. Now the worm castings provide food for the tree. Just like you and me need to eat food, so do the plants. All right, now we're gonna throw some rock dust in there. Be careful not to breathe this in, it is actually rocks. Throw some perlite in here. And then the magnificent mycorrhiza, beneficial fungi. You only need a little bit. So for two trees, I'm gonna sprinkle some over here, in the middle and over here. I'm just gonna mix it in. And the final step is a few scoop, scoopfuls native soil. All right, now that it's mixed up real good, we're gonna start planting this tree. So first I'm gonna take a couple scoopfuls of the mixture, drop it in the hole. Compress it down as much as you can, but with the perlite in there, you know, it's gonna give it some aeration. So I'm gonna keep filling this up till about the soil level line. All right, now we can throw some native dirt on it. The soil is the living organism that, that feeds the plants. The more microbiology and diversity of bugs and insects and beneficial fungus in your soil really assists uh, the tree in its growth. So we don't grow plants, we grow soil and the soil grows the plants. That's what I'm trying to do here at Stonehaven is just provide an abundant, fertile lifestyle for my plants. And you don't want to plant this deeper than the graft. So you want the graft to still be out, but you want the graft to be facing east. So, all right. Looks like that's pretty good. Now we're going to build a little berm around it, and we're going to add the final bit of goodness. I got these pool noodles so I can wrap them around these pipes here. So in case I'm digging, I don't hit them. So I'm just going to cut this first. I don't know that you really need to do this, but someone told me about this once and I figured I'd try it. I'm gonna pack the tree by walking on it. Now I'm not gonna put these everywhere on all my pipe, just in the places that I might be digging more. So, I mean, I'm gonna be planting more stuff and probably tapping into this line, so I wanna, I'm gonna be digging down. Okay, 
get rid of all these Bermuda roots as much as I can. Weeds are not necessarily a bad thing for your garden, but Bermuda is one weed I don't want. Now I'm building a berm right now. It's really important to have a berm around your tree because it will allow an area for the water to soak in and the wood chips on top will keep it wet. So I'm putting the bubbler inside the berm. All right, now we're gonna to top this off with wood chips. Now you can get wood chips for free if you want a whole truckload from a gardening company. But I just bought these five bucks a piece at Home Depot to get the process started. Now you actually want a little bit more than that. See the cool thing about Wood chips, it says it right on the bag. This is a Garden Time naturally inspired shredded western wood cedar, red cedar. Um, pests hate cedar. They hate wood chips. Helps conserve H2O and deter weeds. Naturally resist pests, rich cedar aroma. So this is really good because weeds don't like to grow through this. But, it, but what does like to grow underneath it is worms, and just beautiful, amazing stuff. There we go. And that is a successfully planted tree. I'm gonna throw a little bit of additional rock dust on top and water it in. And rock dust is good to put in the soil but also on top of the soil and let it water down. So you wanna be generous with it if you can. All right, give this one a good water and then we're gonna be done with this tree. Just really wet it down good. On the top, just letting that rock dust get in there. And then we're just gonna let this sit on the wood chips shooting down for an hour or so. This is how you plant a tree. How do you supercharge your fruit trees in your yard? Um, I'm going to do the rest of these trees and uh, I'll show you the finished product. But um, happy planting and just remember if anybody has ever done anything, you can do it too if you learn how to do it. And uh, that's why I do develop awesome skills just because life is so abundant and amazing. I think we should all enjoy it and nature is such a beautiful part of life. So grow fruit trees in your yard. Be nice to other people and uh, live abundantly. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today about how to supercharge your fruit trees. So stick around for more on Develop Awesome Skills. I'm gonna be posting the entire installation and de design system of this uh, watering system as well. And uh, getting ready to show you guys the inside of my house and how everything is happening with that too. But right now, one job at a time. So I'll see you next time.